So let's talk about where your electricity comes from, how it is generated. And we need to start with Lenz's law. First, I have here a rare earth magnet, a coil of wire, and then a galvanometer. So this is a measure of how much electricity is produced. Now, Lenz's law tells us that Basically, Lenz's law is like an old man. He's trying to fight the change. So if I have a magnetic field that's increasing, 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 current's going to flow in the loop to fight that change. And watch what happens. As I bring the magnetic field closer, notice that electricity is produced. As I bring it away, electricity is produced, but in the opposite direction. That's because as I bring it closer, magnetic field's increasing, increasing, increasing. Electricity is being generated this direction, to create an opposing magnetic field to fight that change. Now as I bring it away, now this magnetic field is getting smaller, 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 so the electricity flows in the, in the other direction, like this, to keep it strong, to keep it where it was, to fight that change. Great. So let's take a look a little closer. Now, as I, if I move the magnetic field slowly, not much electricity is being produced. But when I move it quickly, you see a whole bunch of electricity is produced. So time is a factor, and that has to do with the rate of change of the flux. How quickly, flux being the magnetic field through this area, how quickly the flux changes, well, that's proportional to how much voltage is created. And if you look at the dial closely, I'll do a quick jerk with the magnetic field, and you see a whole bunch of electricity is created. Now, you might, let, let's stop for a second and talk about how your everyday use of electricity is created. As I spin this magnet in the coil and you see the, the electricity being generated. Well, take a windmill. A windmill is just something that spins, right? The air spins it. And when it spins, it's spinning a magnet, which is attached to it, and there's a coil of wire around it. Boom, electricity is generated. For a coal-fired plant or, or natural gas plant, well, you burn it, creates heat, that steam comes up the smokestack, that steam turns a windmill type thing, a turbine if you like, and that has a magnet attached, so the magnet starts spinning in a coil of wire, and look at what happens, electricity is being created. Nuclear power plant, same thing. The nuclear decays, heat up the water, creates steam, turns a windmill, creates electricity. Hydro, the water turns a paddle wheel, attached to a magnet. Magnet spins in a coil of water, electricity is created. This is called a generator, and now we know where your electricity comes from. Cool, now we know where your electricity comes from, or more specifically, how your electricity is created. And we also learned about Lenz's law. As the magnetic field is increasing, increasing in this coil, well, electricity will flow in this direction, so it generates a magnetic field that opposes that change. Basically, it tries to keep it the same. Now, as I back the magnet out, then this magnetic field is getting smaller, smaller. Electricity is generated in this direction which creates a magnetic field like this to try to keep it strong in that direction. It's Lenz's law, and again, stop it, sorry. Yeah. <laughs>